So rather than a, a talk, this is probably more like a reading, and a, it will be fairly brief. Delivering a 10-minute artist talk is like taking bad-tasting medicine. Unpleasant but beneficial for my health as an artist to wrestle with what it is I am doing. At times, it does seem to be a strange, archaic process, but it is something that I've worked with since the early 1980s when I lived in New York and was caught up with the vibrant art culture of that time. Some years have been more productive than others. I trained as an art therapist in the 1990s and worked in healthcare for a decade while living in Colorado. My materials have remained fairly consistent, though. Acrylic, sometimes with collage elements, and wood, paper, or canvas. Verbalizing a nonverbal language can never quite do it justice. It's not static, but in an attempt to do so, I will call my paintings interior landscapes, possibly psychic gardens. The process of arranging and layering materials is a way to dialogue with my particular lived human experience in this time that I'm here. It's more about the making and arriving at a point that feels complete than the actual final project product. The piece, this recent piece above me, evolved over several months. I often work in pairs, but this one revealed itself as a diptych that reads as one painting. The bean-shaped cutouts on one panel have moved away from the patterned form, but remain attached in a different way. The title, Nuance, is a word that seems to come up a lot lately, as so many conversations about complex issues aim to simplify into opposing extremes rather than the murky gray areas where most answers reside. Art has a lot to do with subtle details, nuance. I'm constantly discovering the language of my own painting over time. Each one is an object or place for reflection. Each part of a painting is in relationship to the other parts, and the whole painting is in relation to the work I have previously made. The viewer has another experience. There is no secret interpretation. Hopefully something else might come forth for others who are looking at my paintings. And I think that's all I really need to say at this moment, but if anyone cares to ask a question. So, so you didn't plan to have this be the two pieces that went together? I right. Mean, it, initially, I was just working with two panels in a kind of a similar way, mm -hmm. but they were more like related rather mm -hmm. than one whole thing. Mm -hmm. But then something happens. So. What's the title? It's titled Nuance, kind of a reflection of a word that I, I hear quite a bit um, coming up. This, I listen to a lot of podcasts and read things that, oh, there's that word again. And I like it because it, it just um, asks for people to look at things a little more carefully and subtle differences that could easily be glossed over actually are very important. So, so the same podcast. Um, just a lot of different ones on art, and um, the one where I hear the, this word in particular, I've been listening to for a while, it's called The Unspeakable, with Megan Dom. She's an author and journalist, and uh, she talks about a lot of interesting current issues of the day, so that's one in particular. That's like a, it's a kind of diagram where there's the charges moving from the empty spaces to the two elements over here, and they're connected. But then these two aren't connected. These are these belong to that aspect. It's almost like a complete circuit, but yet this over here is not binding, so it's, it stays loose and open. Over here, it seems like we're fixed, we're stuck, and over there, we're out on a limb. You know, we're at like some kind of cherry fruit with a stem on it. It's, it's 
It's got a lot of different ways of looking at it because there's so many almost dynamics that uh, reinforce each other. Okay, as I was saying, I think each person can come up with their own yeah. <laughs> something. They're going to take whatever they want from it. So. Great. Thank you.